Hi, I'm Amy Lewis with NetApp Solid Fire, and I'm here with Sam. Sam, can you introduce yourself? Sure, I'm Sam Charrington. I'm Principal Analyst with Cloud Pulse Strategies. Excellent. So, Sam, uh, how many Docker cons is this for you? Uh, I think I've been to three out of the four. So you're like a, a, a DockerCon veteran? Uh, at least an alumni, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. So what has changed? What's different? What's exciting to you about this DockerCon? What are you learning? Well, it's obviously a lot bigger. Uh, I remember the very first one in San Francisco was, I think, in the, was it the Grand Hyatt in San Francisco? It was in a hotel, and it was, everyone was packed, and all the 500 people that were mentioned in the keynote were packed in a really small space. It was a madhouse. And this is a madhouse, but this is a 4,000 person madhouse, which is altogether different. Uh, so it's, uh, it's come a long way for sure. So you went to the keynote this morning. Um, what, what were some of the announcements that caught your, caught your attention? Yeah, so there were a lot of interesting, a lot of cool demos at the keynote. What I thought was uh, really interesting was the announcements they made around uh, orchestration being integrated into the new Docker 1.12. Uh, what they're essentially doing is, you know, there's a, a cottage, in, cottage industry, let's call it, of orchestration tools that folks that use Docker and get to a certain level of scale or need, need to choose from. And what they've said now is, well, we're just going to include that in the Docker that everyone is downloading now. So uh, they become, in a lot of ways, the, the de facto choice for what they're trying to do, at least is to say, hey, this you know, Docker swarm mode orchestration is now the de facto choice for, uh, for Docker users and for all those Docker users now, uh, you know, that Docker's got the, you know, they're gonna be the first place they look. And so as opposed to <clears throat> uh, users asking a question of, hey, I need to you know, deploy a distributed application using Docker, what do I need? Now the question will be, you know, if this isn't working for them, you know, I have to look someplace else. So it's it kind of changes the game a little bit for the orchestration landscape. If it actually works, that's going to be the, the big question. You know, they, uh, they're, you know, behind from an orchestration perspective relative to the, some of the other players, Kubernetes, Mesos, et cetera. Uh, you know, if it works, it's, it's theirs to lose, I think. That's the opportunity. That's pretty exciting. So what are you what are you hearing in terms of customer and what have you seen in sort of the transformation from the first time you were at a DockerCon till now? What what's the sort of customer buzz that you found that's different? Yeah, I think the the big change has been people are actually using it, right? I think uh, at that point it was hobbyists, it was, you know, the the Silicon Valley usuals. Uh, I think Spotify or, you know, one of those S dot com companies uh, was the the big user that they pranced out for the keynote, uh, but now we've got you know real, real mainstream companies using this, uh, and they're running into the kind of problems that require orchestration. Right? They're building bigger applications. They're putting it in a production. They need operations tooling, uh, and so uh, addressing orchestration now is uh, coming back to that. Right? It's it's the right time to start. Uh, it's the right time. Um, and uh, it's a it's a market that's maturing pretty quickly. I think the 4,000 people in the massive you know expo hall uh, says that as well. All right, they also have these very cool bracelets. So uh, shall we? Well, nice. <laughs> what do you think about IoT come to life here? Uh, it's awesome. It's great. Hey, the more technology, right, the better. So it's, it's pretty cool. And and during the keynotes, they also were able to control them remotely, which was a little spooky, like the thing they said something about, uh, hey, we're all Docker Blue here, and they started lighting up blue. It's like, hey, <laughs> did, I, did I sign a uh, license agreement that allowed them to do that? Well, hopefully they, uh, they can uh, tell us where good things to eat are. We we're going to ask it where the next Cloud Dosa should be. be. So when we get near a Dosa restaurant, it'll start blinking? That'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right, we've got a plan. Future a new request. <laughs> New business in, yep. in progress. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sam. All right, thank you. We'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.